Number seven, a friend tells you N2 has three pi bonds due to the overlap of the three p orbitals on each N atom. Do you agree? Well, in order to answer this question, the easiest way is to just see what N2 looks like in a Lewis structure. Now, there's a whole playlist uh, on this channel just teaching you how to draw the Lewis structure. So if you need a, a full breakdown, you could always go check out those questions there. But for this case, we're going to say, okay, we have N2. And that means that I have two nitrogens right next to each other. And since nitrogen is in group 15 or 5A, I have five valence electrons. So I'll say one, two, three, I don't know, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's make a single bond. So I'm gonna say one electron, one electron, that's a single bond. Okay, and just check for the octet rule. Nitrogen now has two, four, uh, five, six electrons on both sides, so they need another one. So we're going to make another bond to get that number up. Let's see if I make an, another bond now here with a double bond. Is nitrogen good? Two, four, six, seven, and two, four, six, seven. So I need that extra one electron coming in to make that triple bond. Let's see, two, four, six, eight for both sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to erase this just to make it you know, symmetrical. The electrons will go here. It doesn't really matter, but I just like to see it nice. Okay, so now what type of bond does N2 have? It has a triple bond, right? So does a triple bond have three pi orbitals? A triple bond, this is the information that you have to know, a triple bond always equals one sigma bond and two pi bonds, right? So that's the total of three. One plus two is a total of three bonds. The thing here that we, if we look down the line for a single, double, and triple bond, the thing that they have in common is that you always have the groundwork. The groundwork is always a sigma bond. That's the strongest bond. That's the bond between nucleus of one nitrogen to a nucleus of another nitrogen, like a straight, straight run on path. To illustrate that here, it would be the middle bond, right? The middle one, the most protected. That's the strongest bond. So one of those bonds, if I just drew it, you know, drew this one in the middle, that would be a one sigma bond. And then the other ones that are protecting the sigma bond, one on top and one on the bottom, those are your two pi bonds. And they do not run from nuclei to nuclei straight through. They're on the tops and the bottoms of the nuclei between the two nitrogen atoms. So for any triple bond, you have a sigma, which is right in line with the nuclei, and then the two pi bonds. So my friend said that it had three pi bonds, and I would ha would I have to agree? No, I have to disagree, unfortunately. I have to disagree because I know that a triple bond has one sigma and two pi, not three pi. And just know that, memorize these, okay? Because chances are they're going to ask you a type of question on maybe a quiz or a test, saying how many sigma bonds and how many pi bonds are in this structure. So you just have to draw the structure out and then just tally up what you got. So definitely recommend knowing this information. Okay, so the answer is I disagree. And it's because of it's not three pi, it's uh, one sigma and two pi bonds. And there you go. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep working hard. And thanks for being part of this community. You guys rock. You've been so kind in the comments and I'm just really proud to see that this channel is, you know, giving you the ability to learn your classes, not only in chemistry, but in physics and math as well. So we also have those uh, subjects on the channel. So go check it out. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.